They say a total eclipse can be life-changing. Well, I just started tearing up and I was like breathing really hard. It's like freaky because you all of a sudden you can look right at the sun and it's just this beautiful ring flares coming out of it. It was like very overwhelming. Today it felt like that in the US. I cried. <laughs> it was definitely tear worthy, once in a lifetime. Hundreds used the spellbinding moment to get engaged. Amazing! <laughs> On top of the world. I like, can't smile any more than I'm smiling. <laughs> or hitched. We seized the moment like we normally try to. It's just perfect. Huge crowds gathered at Niagara Falls, where the record for the most people dressed as the sun tumbled. You are new Guinness World Record. In Texas, things got a little weird, but in a good way. I thought the aliens would come this time for sure, but it was still amazing. Wow. The path of totality stretched from Mexico across 15 US states and into Canada. Tens of millions of people plunged into an eerie darkness for around four minutes. I noticed that the birds kind of lost their direction. <laughs> they were kind of flying all over the place. They didn't know what to do. A staggering 99% of Americans were technically able to view at least a partial eclipse. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Work and other worries put to one side as they participated in this mass sky gazing phenomenon. In the nation's capital at maximum eclipse, the moon obscured almost 90% of the sun. I'm taking um, pictures every five minutes and that way getting a time lapse. Maybe the start of a new hobby, who knows? So you just bought it for today? Yeah, I bought it for today. Australians only have to wait until 2028 for the next total solar eclipse. And there are a few more coming up in the years after that. But it won't happen here in the US for another 20 years. And that makes this a once in a generation experience. A rare moment of collective awe and wonder. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Washington.